That's what that was. Ooh, that's Lexi right there. Attention to detail, people. Let's get some power in life. Holy crap, I drank witch's brew and it summoned a black cat. Oh my god. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Check it out. This dude, I feel like my character is more pale than I am right now, which is a very rare thing because I'm like a very pale, pale person. I never see sunlight. So today it's been kind of a slow content day. There hasn't been much to show for Ark, and I'm just like kind of patiently holding off on a new survival series till Aberration drops because then life is just going to change altogether like crazy. So uh, today though, there's actually been a couple mods that are kind of cool, might interest some of you. Some of you guys who love Halloween and some of y'all who love sea creatures and whatnot. This mod over here just adds a bunch of animals to your world. I think it adds structures and stuff as well, but most of all, it's purely animals. I'm just gonna dive right into it, man. These ones I'll show in a second because if, if you're into animals, I don't know. See, some people can't even run arc at beautiful graphics. So this is actually what a lot of people's animals or dinosaurs look like anyways, you know what I'm saying? My main criticism behind these is they don't really have any animations. Like, they're, they're cool and all. I mean, if you can run arc at this, at this thing, but they're, again, they're just not, I'm just used to so many more animations. That's why, I mean, the horse is dope. I'm all about horse riding. This is very cool. I just kind of wish that it moved more past the knees. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention had a, a gallop noise and that kind of thing. That's why I'm putting the emphasis on this mod today on the sea creatures. This is for my sea creature lovers out there with some animals sprinkled on top. You can just kill them whenever you see them in nature. So this one right here, it just adds so many different variations of fish and sea life that it's kind of astounding. Wow, I'm already a minute and a half into this video. I'm flying through this. Trying to cut back on just senseless talking for long periods of time before getting into the content. I feel like I'm doing good. All right, so we got a lot of kind of fish here and there's also like 20 kinds of butterflies too, but I didn't feel like spawning in each different butterfly because ultimately who gives a rat's ass all about all the different kinds of butterflies. It is a cool little thing in the game, but to sh line them up and show it off in the mod just seems kind of silly. I do freaking love me some butterflies though. Butterflies and bumblebees. I'm all about that life. So right here we have a giant grouper fish. See, the fish aren't that beautiful in the face. This one kind of looks like a hundred year old ob obese gentleman. Or like a, let's say Jabba the Hutt after he's been dead for like four or five days. But um, again, I mean, they're fish. You don't really pay that much attention to them anyways. Plus, I'm pretty sure you can tame them. I think that's the thing. We have the sharp nosed puffer. What's going on, dude? Little puffer fish. Every kind of fish. We have hammerheads, things that aren't even fish. This I liked, the lionfish, because this dude actually looks kind of cool, like this kind of stuff. And this this, this is what drew me here in the first place, is we don't really have any kind of lionfish or anything like that in any other mods. Nothing really goes that hardcore to adding variations of fish, you know what I'm saying? That's why I like this for sure. Not to mention that scene in like Deuce Bigelow when he grinds up that dude's lionfish is hilarious. Lionfishes, they just crack me up. We have the manta ray right here, another cool addition. I wish... We had one of these that was like a thousand feet wide though. That would be kind of splendiferous. Although those didn't really exist, this one's pretty awesome as is. What do we got over here? Some parrotfish? Now this tripped me out at first. Parrotfish actually are not parrots. Contrary to popular belief, the parrotfish actually looks pretty good. Like it's got the little parrotfish face. You know what I'm saying? What kind of fish are you? I'm, there's so many damn kinds of fish out there. The pink square antheus. Yeah, I would never have guessed. I kind of like the pink square antheus as well. I would love to have me a fish tank. Oh Jesus, I punched a fish. I've been dying for so long for some, oh God, I gotta stop clicking. For someone to add some kind of mod where we're able to transport creatures from the water and then just basically construct these giant fish tank things or swimming pools, basically just able to put down water. If we could put down water, that'd be the coolest thing on the planet. Kind of like Minecraft, you know, but not. Barracuda. It's a beautiful butterfly. The butterfly fish doesn't look anything like a butterfly. Whoever named these needs to get their life back in order. The seahorse, do we even have seahorses? That is crazy right there. It's gonna be a bunch of pregnant male seahorses all around the place. All right, this right here I probably should show up first because the sea turtle is kind of my favorite part about all of this. He actually looks kind of good. I do like how his arms are naturally moving. He has natural little movements and whatnot. Look at his little back flippers and his tail. He's adorable. The sea turtle I really like. If there was a way to make- Damn it! If there was, if there was a way to make it so they could just kind of swim in groups, just schools of sea turtles. What would you even call a school? Because it's not a school. I have no idea. I shouldn't have started a conversation I don't know the answer to. This SOB is going to scare the life out of me. The sea snake, this this right here, I'm just horrified. I mean, it doesn't really have a face, so that part wouldn't scare me as much. 
But the fact that it's just the sea snakes, sea snakes scare the life out of me, dude. I don't miss it. <laughs> clownfish and stingray. Oh, there he is. Look at the little clownfish on his face. That's what's going on there. Little bugger. Wait, is this the one that killed Steve Irwin? Or, yeah, it's definitely that one. Definitely wasn't a manta ray. Well, look at the side. Well, I mean, Steve Irwin knew the risk, though. I remember after that happened, a bunch of people went out and just started slaughtering stingrays just for the hell of it. Just to avenge Steve Irwin, because that's what humans do. <laughs> and then, like, Steve Irwin's wife or something made a public plea. He's like, no, he, he loved animals. This is the last thing he would want. They are giant, graceful beauties. I always feel bad when I go to an aquarium and I see a bunch of little ones and just a bunch of little snot-nosed farts rubbing their little boogery fingers all over them like, oh, poor creatures. Wait, hang on. You're a barracuda? That's a barracuda. Are you both just barracudas? Is that what's going on around here? Or are there two kinds of barracudas? Like yellow tang, yellow fuzz, Jesus, triggerfish. Ooh, triggerfish sounds cool. I pictured you being a lot cooler, buddy. You got trigger in your name. Still, like, such an insane variety of fish right here. Sweet Lips. What's going on, Sweet Lips? I think we've all seen a Sweet Lips in an aquarium at one point. And then just dolphins, which I think is misnamed and also has the wrong image. I also think I've been punching the dolphin a lot. The dolphin doesn't really have the best face either. Again, the thing is, these, these creatures are ported in from some other website or something, so it, the, the maker doesn't really have full control over the way they look. That's why the Jurassic Park extension mod is so amazing, because he does have control over the way the creatures look. He makes them look amazing! But still, if your goal in Ark is to have a bunch of fish hanging out with you, this is kind of where you gotta go right now. Because there's just- I've never seen so many different variations of sea creatures in a world before. And then yeah, just keep your- I don't know. Personally, I'd be killing these things really quick. I do- I do like them, I just don't like how they- See? They just like a bunch of animations, all of them do, for shizzle. <laughs> This one also makes dodo noises. <laughs> Ooh! I can see a bunch of people getting weird with this thing. Oh, cool. The fairy's nice. The fairy's just hanging out with us. That's dope. Fairy's cool. Fairy only really needs the animation of wing flapping. I wonder if any of these could even be ridden. I didn't think so. Yeah, the bear can, but we should be able to just hop on there naturally. Oh, the ghost. Let's just get into the Halloween stuff now, because I'm super excited about that as well. Look at this little guy. Just a decoration to place her... He is an angry ghost! Oh my god, you can just have these things all around your base? Alright, it's time to get into Halloween stuff, because Halloween stuff's crazy also. You are downright spooky! Ooh, I like the Halloween stuff. I'm so happy Halloween stuff is back in Ark. I don't think we're gonna get a Dodo Rex or anything. Dodo Wyvern, nothing, nothing, nothing too fancy. But where Ark doesn't come into the shizzle, um, mods shall. I'm just gonna act like that sentence made plenty of sense. Look at all this stuff! Let's fuck it. We got the Angry Ghost. That's what we got here. The Jason Zombie. Give me one of those. Animated Zombie Head. Thing's awesome. Vertical Skeleton Hand. Oh, boom box skeleton, exactly, laying down skeleton, standing skeleton. I'm starting to get the general vibe. Help me. Sweet stone coffin, give me one of you. Some gravestones. No, 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 gravestones. I've seen plenty of gravestones. Time to, I want this, I want this to all be stuff I've yet to see. Ooh, angel gravestone. A lot of this stuff would probably look a little decorated or a little better decorated around a base, but that's for you guys to do. Okay, silly pumpkin, happy pumpkin, throw up pumpkin sounds hilarious. Okay, plain pumpkin, bale of hay, Halloween altar. Woohoo! And Halloween altar base. Wow, there's so much other decoration. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god, it's like I'm at the freaking Halloween store right now. What do you mean wood? <gasps> there's large spider webs. What? That's astounding. Storage, sugar pie, pumpkin seeds. You know that I love you. You know, witch's cauldron. What? There's so much stuff. Trick or treat! Oh my god, you could have trick or treaters on your server. That is so freaking cool. Make sure to leave a like on the video, by the way, guys. Make sure for shizzle. Look at this wolf, bat, tongue of cat, eye of dodo, spider leg. <gasps> you can straight up make your own, like, potions in here. Arc potions, too. Legit ones. Ooh, a lot of freakies, a lot of freaky masks around here. Which one looks the schlexiest? Which one would scare people while also giving you the best chance of landing some Halloween tang? Okay, wait, uh, which hand, which hand, then? I think these just get into the clown masks, yeah? Which I feel like would be pretty trendy right now, because of its, but still. You know what, these ones always creep the hell out of me. Let's get one of those in here. So those freaking, <laughs> those masks always weird me out. They're like weird, weird old, old school sex parties. Look at all of this amazing stuff. Get some witch's brew down there, put the cauldron down there. Put my mask on you. Oh wow, we are one good looking individual right now. Put you down there, look at all this stuff. God, it's like 
It's literally like Halloween around here. I'm so happy someone bothered to make all this awesome stuff so we could all have very awesome Halloweens in Ark. Alright, I don't even know what to put down first. Let me put down the cauldron. Oh my god, you tilting putting down SOB. I can't- oh wait, 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 wait. Put her down a flat ground or it's gonna bug the life out of me. Remember this witch has had so many problems. Alright, you know what? Right there. Just not even logically. It doesn't even make sense. All right, we could make witch's brew with just raw meat, pumpkin pie with sugar pie pumpkin. Ooh, that's where those seeds come in. Oh my god, look at this. Magic potion. Drink this magic potion to summon the witch's broom. The broom will stay for as long as the timer is running. Better land before time's up. What? That's cool as hell right there. And then candy corn. Gotta have candy corn. All right, let's make this bad boy. Yes, yeah, this is awesome. I totally forgot there's a broom in here because it's not in like the ACM. You can't see it. You can't spawn it in. You've just got to um, craft it. Hang on, what do we still need right here? We should have enough. Oh, but the witch's cauldron needs to be lit. All right, now I'm actually a little confused. Hang on, consumables? It should be. Maybe it would just let me, if it could just let me craft the food magic potion, it would. It would just let me get it in here like that. Okay, so you can spawn the potion in here, just not the broom. But yes, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I think something's going silly on my part because it says just require like such as wood or a thatch. I put it in there, but I'm not getting a light fire option. Also, it would appear I could put feet on it. Okay, no, it didn't do the option to put two put feet on it. Damn it, I really wanted to do that. All right, so let's consume this. Is that our broom right there? Well, obviously. Wait! And there you have it. You can legit be a witch in your world right there for as long as the potion remains. I kind of froze the world, so it's infinite. I think I froze the world thinking I was unfreezing it, trying to get the potion thing working. So yeah, look at this. You have your broom, and then let's see here. If I land it, if I... Oh, shit! What do you do in this situation? Oh, my God. I didn't see this movie in Harry Potter. Dude, this is... Oh, my God. Okay, so avoid this situation as well. Plant your broomstick firmly on the ground before releasing. That that sucks. Return to me! Yo, I inflicted damage. Oh, my God. Hang on. You literally- I destroyed a witch's broom. Hey, you, you could be sniping witches out of the sky like nothing around here. That is- that is hilarious. Oh, I really want to do that now. All right, lay down skeleton for all you necrophiliacs out there, I'm, I'm guessing. This one is downright awesome. You just have him standing in front of your base. Look at this, just Jason. Jason just chilling. Jason Voorhees. Crystal Lake will never be the- look, look at this, he's even completely eroded on the back. Fully eroded Jason. And he just kind of stands there, moving about a little bit. I love how like he tilts his head, moves his arms. He's not just a stale turd. I hate when there's a stale turd. This is a mod with care and beauty. All right, and then the ghost we've already seen. The ghost has the craziest animations out of all of them. Like this, it's like one of those holographic Halloween decorations rich people have. It scares everybody. There's like a whole episode of American Dad about just that. Ooh, spooky. This, this dude, this galley is scaring me more than anything else. It's just because of the noises it's making as it just runs up out of nowhere. Halloween altar, throw up pumpkin, bloody butcher knife. Oh, the zombie head. How could I forget about the zombie head? Ooh, the coffin. So many things. At least the slight biting. Believe it, you can just set that dude down at your table. You can have that on your front porch. That is so freaking cool right there. Halloween decorations for the win, baby. Hang on, this, yeah, you would have just this stuck downwards, right? So that's how you place that. Ooh, that, that's fancy decoration as well, god. So cool. This right here to scare your super Christian or religious parents when they walk in on you playing Ark. Just for the hell of it. Try and explain this to them. The throw up pumpkin is hilarious. This I might try and recreate on Halloween myself because, except I wouldn't have it like one mouth side open more than the other. I'm gonna have pain and tears in his eyes, like some painful thick i just ate half a slice or half a full pizza with little to no beverages and it's just gonna be the most painful throw up in my life oh that's cool it lets off mist around that's what that was Ooh, that's lexi right there attention to detail people that's what it's hard life. holy crap i drank witch's brew and it's something a black cat oh my god so that's what that does i just drank it because i figured why not it legit summons a little black cat that followed that is hilarious Wow, that would be some astoundingly funny stuff to give to some people on your server. Here, everyone have a glass of witch's brew and celebrate Halloween. Well, I killed a witch's black cats. I've done it now, people. That is such an awesome Diz mod. It's way cooler than I thought it'd be. What do we got going on here? I guess that just needs to be placed on a structure or something, so it's not that silly. Skeleton with the boombox, I forgot about you. Wow, if you're going to have a Hall Halloween party on your ARC server, if you don't have this, your, your party just sucks. Honestly, if you don't have any of this, your Halloween party sucks on ARC. I'm sorry, but some someone had to say it. Just download the mod. It's so easy. 
We got going on here. Oh, that's such a cool Halloween decoration right there. That's gonna scare so many people. They're all gonna think it's a real creature. That's what I call hilarious. Look at these perverts hanging out together. All right, the spiritual noises coming off this ghost is actually terrifying. All this stuff together is pretty goddamn priceless. Yes, he plays music. I was hoping he would. That was really gonna suck if he didn't play music. Oh, there's my broom all the way up there still. Bastard ass broom. So yeah, if you guys had a good time watching and want me to just keep these cool little update things going until it's finally time to start Aberration, which apparently might be on Thursday. But I mean, I love Wildcard. I'm a big fan of their games, but let's be honest. They're not the most on time with releases and stuff like that, which I understand. I mean, I lag like crazy on so much stuff on my channel all the time. Life's just difficult sometimes. But if everything did go perfectly, then it would be Thursday, which would be amazing. Because I'm going to be playing with some of your favorite ARK YouTubers. And we're all just going to be combining into one big group. And it's going to be beautiful. I think he's about to ruin Halloween. Where did that bone just come from? Did you guys just hear that? That was horrifying. What the fuck is making that noise? It's so scary. This place is terrifying. So yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Fifty and